A single postcard is credited with saving Havenport from a flood that never happened. But the real story is more complex. I've heard of that. It was just a lucky guess by some guy who drew a map on a postcard. Not exactly. The postcard was mailed from 140 miles away and had a specific instruction to turn the gates when the bells toll at 2.15, which coincidentally is when the river bells ring during major floods. That does sound suspicious, but I'm sure it was just a coincidence. Coincidence or not, the fact remains that the engineers opened the floodgates and the water receded, saving the town from a potential disaster. I still don't see what the big deal is. It was just a postcard with some random instructions. The big deal is that the postcard was drawn by Etta's son, a civil engineer who never spoke of his plan until years later, raising questions about whether it was really just a lucky guess or a deliberate act of sabotage. Sabotage. That's a bit of a stretch, don't you think? Not when you consider that the town's storm alert system was flashing on every screen, and the engineers just happened to have a schedule that coincided with the postcard's instructions. I suppose that does sound a bit fishy, but I'm still not convinced it was anything more than a lucky coincidence. Lucky coincidence or not, the fact remains that the town was saved, and the postcard played a crucial role in it, whether it was intentional or not. I guess we'll never really know for sure what happened, but it's definitely an interesting story. That's the problem. We don't know for sure and the town is just accepting it as luck, when in reality it could have been a deliberate act of foresight or even sabotage. I see what you're saying. It's like the town is just sweeping it under the rug and not really investigating what really happened. Exactly. And that's what's so disturbing. The lack of transparency and the willingness to accept it as just a lucky coincidence without really looking into it. I never thought about it that way, but now that you mention it, it does seem a bit suspicious. That's because it is suspicious, and we should be asking more questions and demanding answers, rather than just accepting it at face value. You're right. We should be asking more questions, and I think I'm starting to see what you're getting at. Finally, someone who is willing to look beyond the surface level and see the potential conspiracy that's lurking beneath. Okay, I'm convinced. There's definitely more to the story than what we're being told. That's the first step, recognizing that there's more to the story. Now let's dig deeper and see what we can uncover.